Hi guys, I'm Alexa and I am obsessed with the Royals like everyone else. I want to be Meghan Markle, so much so that I actually cut my hair two minutes ago so that I look a little more like her. So the first step to looking like her is perfecting the signature low bun. So I brought in David Lopez. Da -da -da! I'm here! This look is really easy to do. All you need are a couple of hairpins, some texturizing spray, and a little bit of a taffy, and you're ready to go. So the first thing that we did was you want to make sure that you had these face framing layers. That's the big thing of the style, that when she pulls her hair back, she has these really beautiful face framing layers. So if you don't have them, go to your hairdresser. Get a pair of scissors. Get a, no, do not get a pair of scissors. <laughs> don't do it yourself. Go don't to your hairdresser. Don't try this at home, kids. Negative. I'm going to use a hairspray and tilt your head back. When you start using that hairspray, it just starts breaking in that texture. We're gonna take your hair into a low, loose ponytail. A lot of times she has like a little bit of her ear covered, which is really pretty, makes it really soft and feminine. We're gonna put a little bit of a texturizing taffy right into your ends. With Megan hair, she has naturally curly hair. So when she does make it straight, there's a lot of texture built into it. So for your hair that's a little bit straighter, this is just gonna give you that workability so it doesn't flop around everywhere. Now I've noticed sometimes with her, she leaves the ends tucked out, which I really, really love. And then what you'll do is you'll reach back and you'll start messing up that bun, just kind of slowly pulling it out, making it not so neat. So what I'm doing to you right here, you can feel me just kind of pinching up, giving that volume at the crown that she's always known for. That's the other thing, there's like a balance and a shape there. We're almost at Megan's status. We're almost at Megan's status. Hi, With your curling iron, you're gonna take these pieces and the hair will go on top of the barrel. The last step that you wanna do is just use a dry texturizing spray. It's just gonna give you that lift. Her hair always has a ton of lift. It looks really easy and lived in. Ah. Oh. And now, Meghan Markle has officially arrived. Look at this, can we do a 360 view of this? Look at this. Do you think that you're ready to try the style? I do. I feel like we I learned do. a lot. Oh, I do, <laughs> yeah, she does. So I feel like it's really easy to do. I know you can do this, I believe in you, Megan. Thank you. Okay. First, we start with some texturizing spray. And then the next step is the pony. Okay, and then you pull a little bit of it out. And then my favorite step, Okay. The Laffy Taffy. <laughs> okay, and then we are going to twist, separate it into half, and then Megan leaves the end pieces out. Yep. So we're gonna leave the end pieces out, obviously. Otherwise, it's too queen-like. We're yeah. still at the princess level. Don't fear the spray. <laughs> Don't fear the dry texturizing spray. You get it! Y'all, look at this messy butt. Megan Markle's in the building. <laughs> that deserves a clap. That deserves a very royal clap. It would look nice if the queen like gave me a nice pair of diamonds <laughs> to go along. I didn't really know how I was going to do because I never wear my hair up and I can't see the back of my head. But step one hair, step two prince, step three tiara. So. Call me Harry. Thanks, David. Thank you. So good.